Hi there, this is CJ, here with some more exam advice for you. Not too long ago, I took the Linux Professional Institute's Linux Essentials exam, which is designed for mm, often younger folks, but not just younger folks. By younger, I mean high school age or perhaps uh, getting started with a community college or college, but it's also meant for educators who aren't from a Linux background or perhaps aren't even from the strongest IT background, but want to learn more about computing and Linux, of course. Obviously, it's a Linux exam. And to demonstrate that knowledge to current employers, future employers, that sort of thing. It's not what you might think of as a mandatory exam because a lot of people take the uh, higher level exams from the LPI without taking the Linux Essentials. But I really wanted to take it for a couple of reasons, one being because it didn't cost as much as some other exams, so I could take it without having much of a financial setback, and another because I really wanted to be able to uh, show that I had Linux knowledge without having to dedicate as much time to some of the more advanced tests, which, by all means, I'm not a lazy person, but... With all the stuff on my plate, I wanted to be able to at least have some evidence that I knew Linux and perhaps to reinforce any material that I may have missed out on at the time. I've got to tell you, if you're serious about this exam, and I hesitate to say this because when people say that something is easy, sometimes others listening take it a little too far and go, okay, I guess I barely need to try then. And that's not what I'm telling you. But as far as tech exams go, this really is a very easy exam if you put in an honest effort to study. And what I mean by that is there's a Linux Essentials ebook by the Linux Front folks, and the LPI is totally cool with you using it. It's a free ebook. You can find it. Uh, you could just Google for it and you'll find it. And uh, in fact, I'll put a link in the uh, video description to let you know where you can find it. It's an approved study material. In fact, they would probably be thrilled if you use it because it's written by people who know their stuff and are happy to help you. Um, anyway, I read that book, and that book was extremely useful. In order to pass the exam, you just need a 500 out of 800, and really, if you look at the exam objectives on the LPI.org website for the Linux Essentials exam, and you put in an honest effort, you go down that list, you study what each command means, um, this isn't like a complicated exam, a higher tier exam where you need to know all sorts of troubleshooting. It isn't quite on that level. It's It's more learning commands and things like that. I can't be too descriptive about it because I wouldn't want to break any sort of candidate agreement uh, that, that folks have to agree to in order to take this exam, so I won't do that. But the questions themselves, if you know your Linux, if you, um, I took a class in Linux uh, a long time ago that I kept thinking back to when I took this exam because so many of, uh, so many of the things I learned kept popping into my head when I I saw the questions, and I thought about things I learned in, in, in college years ago, and I knew the right answer because I had studied the stuff before. So again, I want to emphasize, 500 out of 800 is a passing score on this exam, so you don't have to uh, bite your fingernails or chew your fingernails off because you got one wrong uh, or don't know the answer to a question, but study that ebook that I mentioned go down the list of, of objectives, and it's a 60-minute exam. I finished with time remaining. I felt really good about what I had accomplished. Um, so it isn't one of those exams where, let's say, it's a 90-minute exam where every single second counts and you might run out of time despite it being an hour-and-a-half exam. This isn't that kind of exam. It's really more an exam where you either know it or you don't know it, and it's it's uh, a yes or a no. It's almost like a binary switch. Either you know it or you don't. Um, I knew it, so I had a great time at the testing center, uh, just knocking out the questions and got a great score. Um, so again, the two big things I want to focus on when I tell you about this: look at that free ebook, 
again it's approved you don't have to to go oh, is this is this material am i allowed to use this if you absolutely are and again if you study the material in good faith uh put in how long it's going to take you depends on on you personally it, it never hurts to to tool around with uh, an actual uh, linux terminal and to uh to fool around uh well fool around well you want to actually learn you don't just want to break everything but if you're using a a uh, a virtual machine then i guess you can virtually break things and not worry about it but uh so so it doesn't hurt to get hands-on experience but that ebook for example is 15 chapters and so let's say uh you knock out a chapter a day or a chapter every two days i don't see any reason why a committed person can't do great on this exam again assuming they also go down the objectives list on the lpi.org webpage what uh i just don't see how someone would have trouble with this exam if they put in an honest few weeks or an honest month doing those things reading the ebook and going down the objectives list i think you would do great so i can't make any promises though because then you'd come back and sue me i'm a silly person sometimes anyway thanks for listening if you take this exam i hope you do great on it see you later